Shabbat Shalom. We're the brothers from the Indianapolis camp. We'd like to first start off by giving all glory and praises to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rechak Wadash. We'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that teach this truth and rule well. Wa Shalom to the sincere Akim that's scattered throughout the four corners of the earth that's pushing this truth in sincerity and in charity. My name is Yeremia out of the Indianapolis camp, and I'm also with some uh, some brothers as well. Take y'all name. Azakaya. Shaki. I'm a one. Kind of, and we know we're gonna uh, we're gonna do a, a quick commentary, all right, on uh, Baruch the second chapter, uh, starting at the 28th verse. So without further ado, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. So this is the, this is the book of Baruch, chapter two, and verse 28. As thou spakest by thy servant Moses in the day. It's like it. Baruch two, verse 28. As thou spakest by the by thy servant Moses in the day when thou, thou didst command him to write the, the law before the children of Israel, saying, If ye will not hear my voice, surely this great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations where I will scatter them. All right. And ultimately that happened to who you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans all right, who are the uh, biblical Israelites. Okay, when we rebelled against Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right, uh, a, a part of those curses is the nation of Israel being being scattered. Okay, throughout all parts of the earth. Go ahead, bro. So yeah, that that's that's a uh, that, that's 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 prophecy, man. I right, e, e, even even the hopeful elect, I right, you, you know even even though we we went, we went through all these curses, right? We went through the the the, the, the rigorous uh, uh, slavery, right? All right, uh, the, both the kingdoms, all right, the southern and north, all right. How our people, all right, were were taken violently, all right, by by the so-called white man, all right, Esau, Edom, all right. And, and, and what, what did he do to the tribes, all right? He, he literally uh, inflicted us with, with, with pain and anguish, man, all right, and, and trying to beat our, our heritage out of us, okay? You know, our, our people are, just like how it says in the book of Hosea, uh, the fourth chapter, you know, our, our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, all right? I got some. Yeah, you got more? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It says, <clears throat> and I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land which thou knowest not. Yeah, you know, like just for example, you know, majority of Israelite of Israelites, you know, live, uh, you know, here in America, all right, and, and and we have to go to our enemy for the want of all things, all right, whether whether we need to get a car, all right, a house, all right, uh, you know, we're we're in, we're in slavery, all right, we're 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 making this man Esau eat him rich, all right, by having these by having these jobs, man, all right, and and, and that's that's a part of the of the curses, man. You know, the majority of our people, all right, what they. They work a lot in these what warehouse jobs, man. Mm -hmm. Which that's just the modern day uh, uh, plantation, mm -hmm. you know. Okay, said, For ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which I burn forever. All right, and and that's just going into a, a certain period of time. All right, the Lord He's not gonna ultimately cast away His people. All right, but that's just going into look. You know, we we transgress uh, the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Therefore, we got to pay our our punishment. All right, we 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 have to we have to pay all right, for 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 what he, what what we have done. All right. That's it. Come. Go ahead. I got the Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight, verse fifteen. <clears throat> when it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of Yahweh Shai, thy power, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And I'm going to jump down to well, the curses that overtook us. It says, uh, verse 63. And it shall come to pass that as the Lord rejoiced over you to do you good and to multiply you, so the Lord will rejoice over you to destroy you and to bring you to naught. And you shall be plucked from off the land whither thou goest to possess it. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from, from the one end of the earth even to the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor nor 
thy fathers have known even wood and stone. Mm -hmm. Which is why you have a majority of our people, what they're they're caught up in, what a, a modern day Christianity, or uh, uh, Islam. All right, and, and this is throughout all parts of the earth. Okay, uh, you know, because our, our people they they've been scattered, all right, through all these other nations. And, you know, when our people been been scattered, all right, no matter uh, where the where they at are on the earth, they're gonna worship uh, that uh, that God of of whatever nation is there, all right, because our our people. Are, are what they 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 don't know their true heritage right they don't know uh, for a majority of our people they don't know who they are all right they don't know that 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 they're the israelites of the bible and, and that their true power is is yahweh by shim all right and that's part of the curse man our, our people they're, they're gonna uh, w worship these these false gods man all right go ahead Shai. in the verse 10 yet the number of children of israel shall be as the sand of the sea which cannot be measured nor numbered and it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them ye are not my people there it shall be said unto them ye are the sons of the living power yep all right and you know that's 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 who man that's that's the elect all right uh waking up all right in, in these last days man all right the hopeful elect waking up to to who their who their true power is all right they're going to be uh, re rehearsing the, uh, the righteous acts, all right, and and our, our people are 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 uh, are are big. Like our our people, what is wait, read that read that first Come part. It says uh, Hosea chapter one verse ten. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. Yeah, and you and you know you can't the uh, number the sand the sands of the sea. I uh, basically going into you know how vast uh the 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 nation of Israel is man. There, there's mm -hmm. there's more Israelites on the on the earth than than these other heathen nations. Mm -hmm. All right. It says which cannot be measured nor numbered, and it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, "Ye are not my people," there shall it, there shall so like you, there it shall be said unto them, "Ye are the sons of the living power." Yep, and you know, and hey man, Yahweh uh, Shemal Shai, all right, he raised up what a uh, uh, prophets and teachers in the last days are right, to to wake that remnant up all right to to turn back all right and uh to yahweh bashim all right because uh, the majority of the nation of israel well, which are the two-thirds all right they're not gonna come back into that remembrance all right now now uh, a lot of our people they they may know they may hear all that they're an israelite but uh, for a majority of, of like the two-thirds man they're they're not gonna repent all right only only the only the elect is is gonna uh, repent and, and try to strive for, for righteousness. Yeah. yeah, I just wanted to add upon because, you know, like the brothers brought out in Jeremiah 17 and uh, 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 Deuteronomy 28 about how, you know, we will be uh, discontinued from our heritage and scattered. All right. And also, like the brothers going into it to Baruch that we will uh, be called to remembrance. All right. Because there was a point in time that, you know, we lost uh, being, we weren't called Israelites. That's why it says, uh, Ye are not my people. It says, It shall come to pass. Uh, that in the place where it said unto them, ye are not my people. Why is that? Because in the land of our captivity, all these other heathen nations called us niggers and jigaboos, spicks, poons, I mean, uh, coons, anything that's not Israelite. And that's also in the same chapter of Deuteronomy 28, where the, one of the curses said that we would be a proverb and a byword. So these nations will call us anything but Israelites. All right. But that's part of us being discontinued from our heritage, just like the brothers are going into. All right. Yep, and that happened to all that happened to, to, to both kingdoms, all right? The northern and southern kingdom. Mm -hmm. All right, what do they call the, the northern kingdom? All right, uh, for those byways, man, they call them uh, uh spicks, wetbacks. Mm -hmm. All right, those, those are all names that that what the the oppressor I right, has 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 put on our people, man. You know, the the so called white man, what calling us what uh niggers, monkeys, you know, that that's all a curse. Mm -hmm. Did you have something? Yeah, I'll just uh, just real quick. Uh, turn to what Amawan one brother Hosea, uh, which you know Paul had also quoted, you know in the Romans chapter nine, which mm -hmm. actually said in the verse twenty six, but I want twenty seven, so it says Romans nine to twenty seven, Isaiah or Isaiah also crieth concerning Israel, though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, uh, so like like brother said, like the sand of the, the sand of the sea, you know a numer like a numeral multitude, you know, but more people than anybody here on earth, right? But even being that the greatest number of people on earth is say a remnant shall be saved. So a very 
you know, small number as a course of the, the number as a whole of the children of Israel is going to be saved. And that's going to be those of the elect. Those are going to be the ones who are going to be saved. You know, so this great awakening, you know, like I said, you're going to bring all types of fish. You know, the scriptures say you're going to bring in good fish, you're going to bring in bad fish. But you understand that those are going to be considered the good fish. They're going to receive, you know, even both of the, both going to remember the names that's going to be put upon them. Only the true elect out of that number is going to receive that salvation and the end all be all. I got something. Okay, go ahead. You don't finish? Okay. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 10, beginning in verse 20. And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such, are at, such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, but shall stay upon the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. Okay, you go ahead. Okay, so also, you know, it's going to come a point in time. All right, and that begins with, you know, the Lord waking up the elect, all right, because it's going to come a point in time, you know, uh, for us brothers, all right, that point in time has already came that we're not leaning upon Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, all right, that we're not staying upon him that smote him, that's who uh, that is, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, also these other heathen nations who are, uh, who have uh, helped forward our affliction, all right, also when the Lord will, we be of that, that elect, all right, so that we can escape this judgment to come, all right, it says, um, and it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as, as are escaped from the house of Jacob shall, more, shall no more stay upon Slakia. Shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, but shall stay upon the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, the Holy One of Israel in truth. All right, and that begins with the Lord bringing us into this knowledge of learning him, of learning about his only begotten son, learning about our heritage, about our customs. All right. And verse 21, and, you know, ultimately that's going to lead into our salvation. All right, and Lord will be at that number. Verse 21, the remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty power. And that's what you're seeing unfold right now. All right, the preaching of the word uh, that the Lord has uh, put the spirit on his prophets to do and compelling the elect to come back to you. All right, verse 22, for though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, and like the brother was going into, you know, Israel being a vast nation, you know, you can't count the sin, uh, the, the sins uh, 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 of the sea, all right. It says, uh, yet a remnant of them shall return, and we know that's one third of the elect of the elect, uh, Shalaki. that's one third of the nation of Israel that's known as the remnant or the elect throughout the scriptures, all right. Of them shall return. The, the consumption decree shall overflow with righteousness, and what's the cons consumption decree, all right? A nuclear destruction that the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yashai is bringing to lay this, uh, this land desolate, all right, and only out of that. Only the elect is going to be saved out of all of that. All right. Um, you have a precept shot. Uh, the this, this, we're going to jump back into Baruch two, uh, at verse thirty. It says, "For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff-necked people, are right, going into you know the nation of Israel. You know our people, uh, they're they're a very hard-headed people. All right, they don't they don't want to hear the things, uh, they they don't want to hear the the righteousness of." of of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, right? It says, but in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves, all right? It, and, and that, you know, that's going into into the elect, okay? Because the, the elect, all right, they're, they're going to remember like, oh, oh, this is our true power, all right? The the, the God of the Bible, uh, Yahweh Shai, all right? The, 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 those are, the, the, uh, that's our power, man. All right, the, the heavenly father and his son, all right? And the elect, they're going to be doing the, the the things are right, to the to the best of their ability, all right. In in order to 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 please Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, all right, and, and to and, and to pray for salvation, all right. But also you have that balance, all right. You have a lot of Israelites that are now they may they they may hear that they're an Israelite th uh, this and that, but you know ultimately the 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 Lord is he's only concerned with with the elect on on this side, okay. Be, because because the two thirds are right, they're they're gonna continue on what being stiff stiff necked all right hard headed all right when when it comes to um Yahweh Bashim Shai trying to show the uh, the nation of of Israel love all right through through what by by setting uh prophets and teachers all right the two thirds they're 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 gonna reject all right the the men that the Lord has set up all right I got something real quick Come on, go ahead this is uh uh. Jeremiah chapter 7. Uh, I'll start verse 25. Since the day that your fathers came forth out of the land of Egypt, unto this day I have even sent 
sent unto you all my servants the prophets, daily rising up early and sending them. Yeah, hey amen. So, so, hey amen. Jake, Jake has no excuse, man. He, he, even, even in the ancient days, man. All right, the Lord, he always had, the Lord always set up a, a certain man to, to convey his message uh, unto the nation of Israel. All right, but our people have a, a, a history of what rebellion against against the prophets of the Lord. I right, were rebelling against his teachers, the, the the righteous kings, right? You know, but yeah. I would say, uh, I mean, you can still speak. I just say that it's a little boring. Uh, uh no, nah, yeah, yeah, cause uh, you know, our our, our people are, are hard headed, man. You know, our, our people they don't they, they don't like they don't like uh, uh righteousness. Right. You know, they say, yet they hearken not unto me, nor incline their ear, but harden their neck. They did worse than their fathers. Man, so so <laughs> the generation, the generations of, of Jake's man, you know, just just they just they're just waxing worse and worse. Are you even look at it uh, even even now? What twenty twenty two, our year of the turn up? All right, man, man, these these, these Jakes are 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 just completely wicked. All right, like our our people, well, like what does it say that they uh, uh roughly paraphrasing surpass the deeds of it. the wicked? Kinda, go ahead. This is uh, the book of Jeremiah, chapter five. In verse 28, they are waxing fat, they shine, yea, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. It says they judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless, yet they prosper in, in Salakia. Yet they prosper in the right of the needy, do they not judge? Go, go ahead. So on. also, you know, when you read a couple verses up in this chapter, all right, these are talking about, you know, the wicked leaders of Israel, all right? And uh, also, you know, the whole nation of Israel, all right, you know, they, they outdo every other nation of wickedness. All right, so once again, Jeremiah uh, 28, f chapter 5, verse 28, they are waxing fat, they shine, they overpass the deeds of the wicked, meaning they're doing more wicked works than the wicked themselves. All right, it says they judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless, if they prosper, and the right of the needy do they not judge. Right, because you got these wicked leaders out here uh, diverting our people away from the truth. All right, telling them things contrary to the true doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, leading them uh, further astray from their power, all right, causing them to do iniquity, to follow these wicked evil doctrines. All right, that's going to uh, get the wicked evil leaders, all right, and their followers put to death, all right? Yeah, because yeah, cause you got a lot of other, uh, a lot of these other Israelite camps, what they say, and it was well, okay to commit adultery, all right? You know, just saying all types of manner of, of, of wickedness, man, all right? That, that little this. Kind of. Back in Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 27. Therefore thou shalt speak all these words unto them, but they will not hearken to thee. Thou shalt also call unto them, but they will not answer thee. But thou shalt say unto them, This is a nation that obeyeth not the voice of Yahweh Bashimashai their power, nor receive the correction. Truth is perished and is cut off from their mouth. Man, amen. That goes to show, man. What that, that proves that that our people are, are stiff-necked people, are hard-headed people. All right, they don't want anything to do with with the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, they they want to they want to continue to 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 follow the the customs of the other heathen nations. All right, they 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 want to they want to be able to uh to to do the things that that uh, that that please the the flesh, man. All right, you know Jake Jake is all for what, man? They, uh, what uh, pleasing the flesh, man? They they don't care about pleasing Yahweh by Shem Al Shai, you know. Uh, righteousness is is just far uh, far from the uh, far from these people, this people, man. All right, which are you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man? Right, and, and like and that's just showing, like you said, even up to this day. And that was talking about during the time of the Babylonians, you know, the actual ancient Babylonians. But we understand that those prophecies even pertain to now, because we in what the daughter of Babylon, mm -hmm. you know, Mystery Babylon, aka. Uh, America, you know, and what it say, this is a nation that obeyeth not the voice of the Lord, their power. See, how about Shema Shai? He ain't gonna come down here and speak to you himself face to face. He ain't gonna come off his throne. He gonna speak through his men. So you not taking heed to the words that his men is speaking, that's again showing proof to the scriptures that they not gonna obey, you know, the words of the Heavenly Father. So of course y'all look at us, you know, in the flesh, like y'all just men, but like like the scriptures say, you know, we know if y'all not gonna listen to the Heavenly Father, then y'all most definitely ain't gonna listen to what we saying as men. So as a whole, it's already, it's already qualified that the words that we speak is the Heavenly Father speaking to you. You disobey it and you're not obeying it. That's you not listening to your how about you never shine. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Baruch 2 and verse 31, it says, 
and shall know that I am the Lord their power for for I will give them in heart and ears to hear. Okay, so and that, that's going into the elect. Okay, because the elect, they're they're uh the heavenly father, all right, th through his son Yahweh Shai, all right, is, is what they're they're gathering the elect to what to uh, understand uh these scriptures and, and actually hearken unto them, all right, and to and to learn how to reverence Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, all right, alert, to learn how to fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, all right, what well, keep the commandments, all right, not not walk in 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 darkness, all right, not walk in the in the uh, confusion, all right, in in, in wickedness of, of this world, all right. I got some. Can I go ahead? This is Matthew thirteen and nine. It says, "Who has ears to hear, let him hear." Verse ten it says, oh. "Speak up, bro." All right. This is Matthew thirteen and nine it says, "Who has ears to hear, let him hear." Verse ten it says, "And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou come?" Why speakest thou unto them in parables? Verse eleven. Says, yeah, that, you know that that's uh, the Lord. He's he he spoke uh, to certain men in in in, in parables, meaning uh, hidden sayings, all right? Because it wasn't meant for everybody to to understand. Go ahead. Verse eleven says, He answered and said unto them, because because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. Yep. Hey, yeah, it's it's not it's not given to to the heathen nations, all right. And what the the the, the two thirds, all right, they're, they they have a, a a spiritual blockage even to 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 receive the truth, all right, because it wasn't meant for them, all right. It was only it was only this truth is only meant for a remnant, all right. I got something back you up. Can't go ahead. This is uh, the book of Romans, chapter eleven, beginning at verse seven. What then? Israel hath not obtain that which he which he seeketh for but the election has obtained it and the rest were blinded yep and the the rest were blinded that's talking about the the two-thirds of the nation of the nation of israel all right they're blinded from 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 uh receiving the 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 true wisdom knowledge and understanding of these scriptures all right starting with our apostles and the elders on down all right this is but the election hath obtained it all right going into what the the hopeful elect all right our right, twelve thousand out of out of each tribe Okay, mm -hmm. that that are that's gonna return to their uh the, return to their nationality, all right, and uh re re rehearse the righteous acts, all right, uh a fear and reverence of Yahweh Shai, all right. And then and, you got the mm -hmm. Ashlaki, bro, but you also got the innumerable multitude, all right, that's taking heed to the prophets, all right, coming back to their power, all right. Con. Yeah, one more verse. Please. Con, go ahead. It says uh verse eight, according as it is written, the Most High hath given them the spirit of slumber. Eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear, unto this day. Yeah, you know, and and that spirit of slumber is is pretty much going into, not them not being able to uh to to uh, understand, all right the 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 things that are that are written in these scriptures, man. Because, man, uh, when a majority of our people when they when they hear, oh, you can't eat pork, you can't eat shrimp, uh, crab, and lobster, you gotta stop committing adultery, uh, you you gotta start uh stop, uh, getting uh lined up. All right, uh, they 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 got all, they get emotional and they're and they're like nah I, I still want to continue in this, all right because they they like the the feeling of 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 of, of doing wickedness, all right. That's it. This is uh back in Baruch chapter two and verse thirty two, it says, and they shall praise me, in the land of their captivity, and think upon my name. Okay, and and. The hopeful elect is scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, okay. All right, and and and, and the hopeful elect they're going to be waking up, all right, to 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 Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, they're they're going to remember, they're they're going to think think upon the the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, which are the true names? Are right, Yahweh being the the name of the heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai being the name of His only begotten Son, okay? And, and it says, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity. Our people are captive. Throughout the four corners of the earth, whether it be in America, all right, uh, London, Russia, China, all right, because th those curses uh, follow you no matter where you're at on the on the on the uh, face of the earth. Mm -hmm. All right, but this is good. The, this is prophecy, man. All right, that that a remnant is 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 being woken up. All right, uh, a remnant is is being woken up to 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 who they truly are. All right, and, and what they need to do to what obtain salvation. Go ahead. Okay. 
This is uh, the book of Sirach, or Ecclesiastes, chap chapter 17, verse 10. And the elect shall praise his holy name. I already know that goes back to when, you know, uh, in that scripture you just read in Baruch. How uh, the elect would think upon the names of Yahweh Bashim outside in the land of captivity. Because when you come back to the, into this truth, come back to your heritage, come back to the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. All right, the first thing the Lord Yahweh Bashim outside gives you is his name. All right, then you learn the names. Of your, of, of your heavenly father and his only begotten son all right then from then on are you begin to to, to uh, learn and grow in the truth you know uh, practice the things and practice and do the things that are pleasing to you how about you all right that's all what this is talking about in, in the uh, in the baruch chapter two that the brother is reading all right oh okay. i got an addition okay go ahead acts 4 and 12. neither is there any neither is there salvation in any other for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved yep so an example of that man uh, uh, a lot of these false names man what is so-called uh jesus all right J jehovah all right that, 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 that that's not the name of the heavenly father and the son all right you got people that call him god like right, the most high those are just titles all right mm -hmm. uh, and, and there's no salvation in those names man because they're they're what they're of man all right they're not of the uh, of the heavenly father all right yes i don't remember uh, yeah. You have some? No, I was just okay. I was just, just like you said, just so now don't get me wrong, it may be some elect who may be called on the wrong name right now because they haven't been they haven't stumbled upon the correct, you know, doctrine and teaching, but they gonna ultimately come out of that madness and they're gonna hear the name, they're gonna receive it, and they're gonna re you know, they're gonna be glad. Mm -hmm. But as far as those who call themselves in the truth right now and said, No, it's Yahuwah, this God, this John, this this and that them people, those individuals are not of the elect, mm -hmm. right? That you're called on a perverse, really, really giving your energy to other, like to, other, to demons. Mm -hmm. That's who they mm -hmm. call upon, and they most definitely not gonna save you. They, you know, but the ones who are calling truthfully, and like I said, the ones who sincerely seek the truth, the Lord gonna bring them into the fold and give them the correct names th God. through His Spirit and power. Mm -hmm. You know, so just want to clarify that because you got Jakes who call themselves in the truth, call themselves rehearsing a righteous act, but they called on false names. And they'll say, we know everybody who's coming in, you you, you learn, well, just like me. I learn on a, a, one name, a different name. Then I learn this name, then I learn this name. Then the Lord, you know, through his spirit of power, and the Tawadi HaBashi Mashai led me to the correct names being taught from the correct. And if you could you know, receive it, you know, the leaders of Israel on this side right now, which would be our apostles and elders, you know, and bishops on down. Those are the true men of HaBashi Mashai. And also those, like I said, of those are like-minded men so even in other camps too they come out of the hedge of the apostles hey they you know they receive you know saying this this mercy you know mercy via this truth from your how about shimei uh back in baruch chapter 2 and uh, verse 33 it says and return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds for they shall remember the way of their fathers which sinned before the lord okay and, and you know we're we're learning all right, uh, the the things that that our uh, uh, forefathers have done. All right, our, you know, you know the nation of Israel. You know, our our, our people. You know, they we, we were going off. All right, all right, and 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 the hopeful elect, they're waking up. All right, they're they're repenting and and they're putting off of uh, those wicked deeds. All right, the the things that goes uh, contrary to the to the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai. All right, just like how the scripture says, uh, for things are written aforetime for our learning. Okay, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yashai, all right, he blessed us with, with this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, all right, so, so that uh, we, we, we could clean, our, cl uh, clean ourselves up, all right, this, 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 is, this is ultimately uh, mercy, all right, from, from Yahweh Bashim Yashai, all right, uh, you know, us, us obtaining this knowledge, all right, Be because oh. the two thirds, you know, they're, they're, they're still going to be continuing uh, in their wickedness until Yahweh Shai comes back. I got some uh, to back up what you just said, you know, even like I just said too, like, you know, receiving this truth, you know, definitely is a form of, uh, you know, mercy. Mm -hmm. And they say, uh, Psalm chapter 85, verse 10. Uh, matter of fact, let me start at, uh, yeah, verse 10, verse 10. It says, mercy and truth are met together, right? Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. So they go hand in hand. You receive this truth receiving this truth is a sign of mercy 
for you to get it right, you know, so you, so you get, get yourself right, you repent, and conform your ways to your Habashimash, the ways of your Habashimash to the best of your ability. Reflecting on what you did in your past and being repentant and turning away from that to the best of your ability. And then, like he said, the scriptures written before time, we can look back in the scriptures and see where our people went off. We can see what not to do, you know, what not to fall under, who not to listen to. And we are to, uh, you know what I'm saying? And then, like the scriptures say, seek ye the old past, the, the things that are, the, uh, as a matter of fact, mm -hmm. the Jeremiah, Jeremiah 6. six yeah. I got precepts back y'all up too. Uh -huh. Jeremiah 6 and 6. Yeah, yeah. yeah kind of <laughs> Jeremiah 6 16 it says thus said the Lord Yahweh stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old path where is the good way and walk therein and ye shall find rest for your souls but they said we will not walk therein right so now that like I said the elect are going to you know seek those old paths where it's been good because we have you know we have examples of what not to do in the scriptures and then we also have those examples of what to do we're supposed to follow you know ultimately follow after the ways of Yahweh Shai follow after him right but at the end of the day, when we go look in you know, previous times, you know, before he came as himself, we have examples of men of the Lord who did all that they could to follow those good paths that were set up by Yahweh by Shemel Shah. You know, you shall find rest for your souls, right? Because like the scriptures say, that the ways of sin is death, mm -hmm. but the gift but the gift of the uh, of eternal life is through Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Roughly paraphrasing. I think I said that right. But, uh, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. This is uh, the book of Romans. Chapter 6 and verse 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of the Most High is eternal life through Yahweh Shai right. Mashiach, our Lord. Right. So, as it says, so we look at those old paths and we see, well, this 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 prophet was lived like this. This man of the Lord was lived like that. This believer lived like that. And they ways were, they was prosperous. They didn't really, you know, say, suffer as much. Even being in captivity, you know, saying the Lord had them, you know, in the in the greater light, so to speak. You know, mm -hmm. he was a hedge of protection for them, those who were trying to serve him. But you got those who say, but we will not walk through it. Those are two thirds. Those those continue to be stiff neck. Yeah, we are stiff neck in a way, you know. But at the same time, we are Lord willing we have that number. We is more obedient to turn back to Yahweh Bashmasha, where those who we trying to correct actually show our love, so they receive that rest. And the ultimate rest is going to what? Receiving the kingdom. Yeah, all Israel shall be saved in the end all be all. But there's a there's an elect, you know, saying like the brother had. Uh, like I said, Israel have that team that was receiving for, right? Mm -hmm. So there's an elective who's going to receive those first round draft picks to where they don't have to be, they don't have to be destroyed in a, you know, saying a, a painful way, death by pain, you no know, famines to kill them, so forth and so on. Yeah, there's going to be some of those who die for the testimony of Yahweh Shai, of, of Yahweh Shai, but that's a greater honor to die for that cause. You're going to have the two thirds going to die in their wickedness, in their sin and iniquity, and it's going to be painful death, and they're going to be have to be born back rather than catching that first you no know, go around on the chariots of salvation being on the mm -hmm. first resurrection that's what we strive to be so it's best to what seek those old paths you know say to the best of our ability as we always say rehearse the righteous acts you know saying the lands of drawing wa waters so to speak so while we're in the I land know. of drawing waters which is a, a a symbol of slavery we are to continue to rehearse the righteous act no matter what mm -hmm. their laws are you know what I'm saying when they law, we follow, of course, we follow it to a, a certain extent, but when their laws violate our laws as commandments, we are not to follow that. Yep. Con, and you know, an example of that is well, what this man Esau Edom wants to, wants to push, all right? The, the MOTB, man, all right? The, the, the MOTB, and he wants to push that on the, uh, the, the, the whole, the, the, everybody on the face of the earth, all right? Uh, first and foremost, the, the, the nation of Israel, all right? You know, the, the Lord, he's not concerned about the heathen. All right, the, the heathen they can go ahead and, and, and take the uh, MOTB, all right. But for for a majority of uh, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, who are the Israelites, all right, uh, the, this the fact that th this man wants to wants to push uh, the the MOTB on 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 you Israelites, all right, goes to show that what he wants to to make you people what uh, 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 an eternal slave for him, man. And, and and the Lord is 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 looking down, uh, uh, furious at Esau Edom, you know, and, and these other uh, 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 wicked heathen nations that are, are that are in league with him. All right, it's uh, Baruch chapter two and verse thirty four. It says, "And I will bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob." All right, which are the the our, our righteous forefathers that the 
that that are the uh, heirs of the kingdom. All right. It says, and they shall be lords of it, and I will increase them, and they shall not be diminished. Okay. So ultimately, you know, start, starting with the elect. All right. We're we're, uh, uh you know, Lord willing, we're, we're part of that number. All right. The 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 hopeful elect. All right. They're they're going to be. Uh, giving the the holy land back all right and then the nation of israel is going to come back through, through the loins of the elect all right gotcha. and it says and i will increase them all right so our, our people man hey, just, just like how the lord uh, uh told noah uh be fruitful and multiply all right that's going to be going on in, in in the kingdom all right mm -hmm. we're going to uh uh the hopeful elect they're they're going to bring back uh the nation of israel back back in the kingdom mm -hmm. all right and uh yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. This is uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, beginning in verse 1. It says, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel, and set them in their own land. And a stranger shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty much going into the Israelite foreigners. Okay, mm -hmm. so, it, you know, because cause it's, it's going to be a, a, a lot of Israelite foreigners that, that are, that are going to be uh, scattered throughout, throughout the four corners of the earth. But you know, even with those Israelite foreigners, they, uh, they, there's still a lot of what salvation, okay. And uh, going back to that Baruch, remember it said, uh, the Lord said, now will bring them again into the land which I promised, with an elephant to their fathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yashai Himself, I just want to put us back in the Holy Land in the land of Israel. So that goes to further prove that the ones you see inhabiting our land right now, they're not the true people Yahweh Bashim Yashai. All right, they're just imposters. Mm-hmm. Huh. I got no, I'll do two after. Go ahead, shot. John 16 and 22, it says, And ye know, I mean, ye now therefore have sorrow, but I will see you again, and your heart shall rejoice in your joy, and your joy no man take it from you. Yeah, man, because why, uh, you know, you know, as a as a nation, man, we're we're going through all all, all types of sorrow. For one, we're under the curses, all right? Uh, we, you know, for, for the remnant that wakes up to this truth, all right, uh, you know, we'll, the the more and more we we gain this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, all right, we we get we get more sorrowful, man. All right, we're understanding the uh, more, more more of the truth of the matter, all right, and, and how we went off uh, 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 against the Al Bashim Al Shai. Can, can you read that again? John sixteen and twenty two. It says, "And ye know, and ye now therefore have sorrow, but I will see you again, and your heart shall rejoice, and your joy no man take it from you." Yep, and 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 how and how is uh, the Lord doing that? All right, He's He's uh, opening us up to uh, to this truth. All right, because at the same time, all right, the the, the this truth is uh, comforts us. All right, it, it it comforts us, man, because we understand that nothing, that anything that uh, outside the truth is, is what is is folly and, and is vanity. All right, and the only the only thing that that really brings us joy is, is what the uh, the words of, of Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai, all right, and, and you know, and, and how he's gonna uh, uh, keep us, all right. If 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 we continue doing the 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 the, the righteous deeds, all right. <laughs> if, if we keep serving Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai, all right, just like I says, he that endureth until the end, the the same shall be saved. You got both. Okay, I got something really quick. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 24, verse 6. For I will set my eyes upon them for good, and I will bring them again to this land, and I will build them and not pull them down, and I will plant them and not pluck them up. Right? And they say, of course, you know, as a brother went into Isaiah 14, it's, you know, it's the Lord that's going to bring us back into our land. Not no Balfour declaration or any type of declaration that any of these heathens declare. No, it's going to be Yahweh Bashim El Shai that brings us back into our land, right? It says, And I will give them a heart to know me, that I am the Lord Yahweh Bashim El Shai, and they shall be my people, and I will be their power, for they shall return unto me with their whole heart. And that's going to be, like I said, when we're in the kingdom, we get those new bodies, right? He's going to give us a, a, fle a fleshly heart, right? And we're going to do what? We're going to do all those things that please him. 24 7 we'll never go off again because the law statute law statute commandments you know will be downloaded within our inward parts 
So we are never seen again. We are never transgressed again. That's why we're going to be immortal. Because like we read earlier, that the wages of sin is death. But if you can't sin at all, that means what? That your life, that the, and that gift would be what? Eternal life through your house, Shah So that's what the, that's what's going to happen at the end all be all for all of the nation of Israel. We're going to be, we're going to be all given that whole heart, right? We're going to return to the Lord, you know, giving that whole heart. But again, the only people that's doing that right now to receive that first go around is the elect of this time. So of course, like the brother saying, you know, as long as we keep doing what we're doing, well, ultimately, ultimately, you know, if the Lord continue to put the spirit on us and continue to do what we're doing through peace, you know, the peace, sincerity, charity, and love, and you know, just continue to do that to the best of our ability, then what? We're gonna receive that reward. We're gonna receive, you know, that deliverance. We're gonna receive that salvation of Yahweh Bashi Melashai. If Lord willing, we endure until the end. Mm -hmm. Come. On. Uh, verse 35 and I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their power and they shall be my people and I will no more drive my people Israel out of the land that I have given them all right because just like how Tezekiah mentioned you know the Lord the Lord he's gonna download the law statutes commandments in our inward parts all right the Lord he's gonna he's gonna give his elect men new bodies man to, to the point to where we're not gonna be able to go off and transgress to the point to where the heavenly father he's uh, uh we, we provoke the heavenly father to wrath and and, and and then and then we follow uh uh on, on that curse where we get yeah. scattered so like that was uh, some technical difficulties uh the phone had locked but i'm gonna read it again it says and i will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their to be their power and they shall be my people all right going into the into into the the nation of israel all right but first and foremost, starting off with the elect, all right, because that everlasting covenant, when you go into that word everlasting, that's that's uh, that, that that's forever. OK, uh, uh, and that new covenant is what is is is, is having uh, the law, such as commandments downloaded in our inward parts. Mm -hmm. you, somebody got that precept in Jeremiah. Uh, fit, I got the one in Jeremiah 31. Kind of, kind of, you get that one. This is a. Uh... Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 31. Behold, the days come, save you, how about you, shy, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Mm -hmm. Right? And this, like I said, that's specifically talking about the, the southern kingdom of the house of Judah and the northern kingdom of the house of Israel. Right? There's no other heathen of all of this. There's no body of believers, okay? Right? No. The only true body of believers are Israelites who descend from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right? It says... Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break, although I was a husband to them, save you how about you never shot. Right? Because we couldn't ultimately keep that covenant because we was in these fleshly bodies. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And then the scripture said that we was, we was, uh, what did it say? Uh, we was made subject unto vanity. Come on, that's what, what Romans. Yeah, uh, Romans, you know, so it, it, at, at the end, really at the end of the day, we wouldn't, it wasn't a part of the plan for us to uphold that first covenant. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was given to us to follow, but ultimately we was going to break it because why? The Lord was going to make a new one, right? Mm -hmm. he's, he's, it's a better deal coming, right? And it says, not according to the covenant, oh, so like it, verse 33, it say this, but this, so this new covenant, right? They said, which we, we're not in right now, we're in the grace period heading towards that new covenant because some people mm -hmm. believe we're in a new covenant right now but yet we still <laughs> teaching our people you still seeing adultery running rampant you still seeing all types of manners of wickedness yeah. all types of transgressions of your how about you outside yet we in the new covenant also then you still underneath the rulership of another nation yep. how does that make sense right but hey you know you know jake be bugging but it say but this shall be the covenant that i will make with the house of israel you know so the whole house you know all twelve, all twelve tribes together after those days, say if you have about you know shy, I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts and will be their power, and they shall be my people. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor. But we're doing it right now, so that proves we're not in the new covenant right now. Mm -hmm. We're heading there, but we're not there yet. And every man his brother saying, Know the Lord, you have about you know shy. Everybody gonna know the Lord then, because it's gonna be in our inward parts. You know what I'm saying? That everybody don't know the Lord right now. Right? They say, cause like we said earlier, they call them Jeebus, they call them Yah, Yeshua, Yahushua, Ishi, you know, some of these, they call them Allah, you know, madness. You know what I'm saying? They, they call them Yahweh Abashim El Shai. They say, for they shall all know me from the least of them unto the greatest of them. Say, Yahweh Abashim El Shai, for I will re forgive them their iniquity and I'll remember their sin no more. 
And that's what we're going to head into when he said he going, I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their power. That's just you know, reflecting that. That's going to be what? That new covenant that he's going to, you know, that we're going to pretty much, this, like I said, that he's going to pretty much institute within us. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be that new covenant that we, you know saying, that we, we accept, right, in our inward parts, you know. So to never sin and never to transgress and go off again. But again, like I said earlier, to do all those things that please you, how about you now, Shah, 24 7. Okay. All the things that our hearts decide righteously, hey, it's going to be added unto us. And we know our righteousness. You know what I'm saying? You have a precept shot? I got something. Kind. You ain't got another shot? No, you go. All right, you go, go ahead. ahead. This is uh, the book of Ezekiel, chapter 36, verse 24. For I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all countries and will bring you into your own land. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hey, Yahweh he's gonna, he's got, he's gonna come with the, with the chariots, all right, and he's, he's gonna beam up, all right, uh, uh, some of the elect, all right, because according to prophecy, some of the elect they're gonna have to be martyrs, all right, but, you know, uh, the elect they're gonna get beamed up in those ships, all right, throughout all, throughout all four corners of the, uh, mm -hmm. uh, of the earth, man. All right, and they're gonna come down, uh, uh, with, with Yahweh Shai, what to 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 redeem uh, the Holy Land and to also put the the earth under, uh, the the whole entire earth under the subjection and, and, and power of Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. Uh, the book of Ezekiel chapter thirty six and verse twenty five. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness, and from all your idols will I cleanse you. All right, also we know this is what this scripture is going into. All right, it's new covenant. All right, because also uh, the word is likened unto water throughout the scripture. So the Lord, Yahweh, all right, is going to put his word in us. All right, like the brother Tazakaya was going into, you know, the Lord put his word in us. All right, and we won't be able to go off against Yahweh, Bashi, Yashai anymore. All right, and ultimately that's, he's uh, going to fully cleanse us, all right, with that new covenant. All right. Uh, like you said, that's the company he's going to make with us. Mm -hmm. say that's the, be the better deal, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm going to read this one more time. Baruch chapter 2 and verse 35. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their power, and they shall be my people. And, and I will no more drive my people of Israel out of the land that I have given them. All right, so ultimately, you know, that's, that's going to come. All right, that that we're 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 gonna we're gonna in, inherit the the holy land again. All right, and we're also gonna in, inherit the the whole uh, entire earth. All right, just like how it says, what the the uh the meek shall inherit the earth. All right, who's the meek? That, that, that's the nation of Israel. All right, or right, for you know first and foremost starting off with, with the elect. All right, but but yeah, man. All right, we're 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 gonna be in the in the good graces of Yahweh by Shai. All right, he's gonna program us. All right, to 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 be perfect. All right, we're not gonna have to worry about going off. All right, we're, we're a, a, everything that we're gonna do is is literally gonna be done and done in righteousness. All right, we're not gonna have these these uh, uh the, these fleshly bodies that are, um, or or should I say the, these bodies that are are still susceptible to to sin. All right, this 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 wicked flesh, or we have demons just constantly attacking us. You know, the Lord, the Lord, he's he's gonna program us to be perfect, man. All right, to to be in in uh, on one accord with the Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai, you got a, you got a precept. Right. You got a couple more verses here, Ezekiel. Come. This is uh, Ezekiel chapter thirty six, verse twenty six. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you, and I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and will give you a heart of flesh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the 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 stony heart. All right, we're we're, we're not gonna uh, be able to. No, no, nothing's gonna be a, a, a stumbling block, all right. Well, when, when it comes to the spirit and power, y'all by Shem Al Shai, all right. And this goes for the for, for the whole nation of Israel, all right. First, the, the elect they're gonna get those new bodies, all right. But well, when the whole nation of Israel returns, they're also gonna have those those new bodies too, all right. Which is going into having that that fleshly heart, all right. Which uh, having a perfect mind, all right. You know that stony heart is a uh, that stony heart is a symbolic of our rebellion, our hard heartedness. All right, because that's what's caused us, or caused us, our right, our stony hearts being rebellious. All right, that's what's caused us to go off against the Yahweh Bashim All right, but the Lord is going to take that take that away from us, take away the stony heart. All right, because also also that word heart, the Hebrew word for heart is lie, meaning your mind. All right, so we won't be persuaded in our mind to do any 
form of wickedness because the Lord is going to take away the heart of stone and give us a flesh of heart to where we'll be able to follow his laws and his ways, his statutes and his commandments a uh, hundred percent. All right. Verse 27. And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and ye shall keep my judgments and do them. So the Lord, you know, with these new bodies, all right, he's going to put the spirit on us to keep the law a hundred percent. All right, no more wickedness is going to dwell within us when it comes to these new bodies. All right, we won't go off no more. We won't have we won't have to worry about you no know, wicked evil thoughts. All right, being enticed or tempted to do sin. All right, all of that is going to be done away with when Yahweh Bashim Yashai gives us those new bodies and puts that new covenant with within us. All right. Come on. I got some. This is Hebrews twelve and twenty eight. It says, "Wherefore we receive, we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved. Let us have grace." Whereby we may serve Yah, Yah Bashem Yahusha, acceptably, acceptably, with reverence and godly fear. Yeah, kind of so hey, you know, just to just just to keep continuing on on doing the the things that we're doing, all right? Because we we know what's what's, what's at the end, all right? We we know that 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 salvation uh, 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 draweth nigh to to the ones that are are uh, serving Yah Bashem Yahusha in the truth and sincerity. All right, we know that that that's gonna come with, with the kingdom, man. All right, and, and, and the kingdom is 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 gonna be our rest, all right? Because you know we we don't have we don't have rest here, all right. That's it. Uh, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. We like to give all glory and praises to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rechakwadash. We like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that teach the truth. And real well, wash all along to the sincere Akim that is scattered throughout the four corners of the earth that's pushing this truth and sincerity and in charity. And with that, we're going to say Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.